Good morning, Nash. Huh? Good morning, everyone. Irrigation farmer back today, and today we're irrigating. So, we got the truck. It's really early, bright and early in the morning. So let's go take a look at what I do for a day of irrigation. So, I have a set down there, we'll go take a look, but right now what we're gonna do is open up this gate. This allows water to go into the pond. The pond's gonna build up, and then I'm gonna be able to irrigate my corn. Uh, because we have to have ponds for pivots. I'll explain that later. But big thing here is we cannot irrigate all of our farm at one time. We have to do it in chunks. And so I was partially irrigating some alfalfa in the first day of water that we had on the second day of water that we have. Put it in the pond, irrigate the corn. Go into that more into detail later too. I'm going to go turn on the pivot because it's in the wrong spot of the field right now. So I'm going to turn it on let it run for a little bit. It's just going to dry, run dry. Usually it's drive up here. But we got a little bit of rain and the material this is built on, you would just slide right off real easily. As you can see, kind of erosion right here. So I really don't want to uh, slide my truck off here first thing in the morning. If I had my four wheel drive truck, I wouldn't be too worried. But two wheel drive, I'd get stuck and no one's probably awake right now, so that's no fun. Oops. Did not want the water on. Duh. There we go. So here's the alfalfa I'm irrigating. So I pretty much got the entire field done. It's a pretty small field. Uh, there might be a little bit left, but I need to start getting some water back on my corn. It's gonna be hot this week. And we might not get water again for two weeks or 10 days, who knows. So a little explanation. So every run of water we call it, which is an allocation of water for 48 hours. Uh, you have so many shares of water that run your farm. It's a lot of math and everything, but like for my farm right here, I can run either a full pivot at about an inch and two tenths, or I can flood about 20 acres worth of flooding field. Difference is, so the pivots can put on about an inch and two tenths. Sorry, it's really bright. Um, or the flood field will put on anywhere from like eight inches to 10 inches or so. So you get a lot more water at one time, but small amounts. So what I'm doing is this is, it, it's a smaller field and it irrigates really fast actually. It doesn't soak as well. So I did a chunk of it and I'm gonna do a chunk of my corn because I don't have a full pivot of corn. I only have half a uh, pivot of corn. So half here, half there. So a lot of farms are controlled by these. It's just an eva a valve that you can close off the underground line. My water comes from up there from the canal and it goes underground straight from the canal down here. It can go into that pond or come down these lines here. I'm on the road again. This truck is really loud, but on the road again. Made it here to the other farm. So this one is about five miles away from the other one. So a lot of time I spend irrigating is actually driving back and forth around farms. Depending, um, this farm does not have any pivots at all. The other farm we were just at has the one. So sometimes I can just have that running and not have to really be out there very much. This one I'm out here all the time because they're random runs. I'm hoping to buy this farm and then put pivots up um, and then the next farm we'll be going to is flood and pivots. 
We're running flood again, so I'm just gonna be running around a lot today, changing the water. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna get to a dry spot, but I'm going to walk all the way to the end and make sure it's done before I make my next set. We have to make sure that it's finished, otherwise you have dry spots, which you can kind of see because it doesn't soak as good. And this field sometimes doesn't finish all the way, just because the way it is, so we'll try to get the best I can. So here's the other field here. So this is a really funky field. Um, your day sets come like this, and your night sets actually come from up above. And how this field runs is it comes down, and it does kind of an L and wants to shoot that way. So the further down you are this way, the farther down the run goes, it goes across. Makes it kind of difficult to irrigate, works out, but it's not the easiest. Our farm was leveled back in the, I don't know, 60s, 70s, somewhere around before I was born. They were able to make the water run, but um, they didn't have precision back then, and so they're not crazy straight they kind of just went with the flow that they could get so while this farm was leveled some farms in this area were not it helped irrigation tremendously but we are seeing the consequences now because they cut and fill so they lost some of that soil profile of topsoil and filled it with or cut down to not very good soil so we're fixing it slowly over time but pivots have made a world of difference on our farm. Makes it so you can go across all the acres a lot faster. And you don't have to worry about going straight because who cares? It's a pivot. It goes wherever it needs to go. Whereas here, you're trying to get dry spots like the other farm and try to go straight, but it curves and just it's kind of a mess. So here's my night set. So I'm going to pull this real fast, it's got to run back down the ditch to where I do my day sets. And then I'm actually going to run up there, we do have one well on the farm. It's mainly used for irrigation of the um, yard. Doesn't pump very much at all, can't run a pivot, but we use it for this field here, it works out where we can supplement a little bit of water, but again, it's not anything to go home about. Kind of bad light right now, but got all my cutouts dug. So I have eight cutouts, and then check a dam is set. So this field's good to go for now. Onto the pivot to see where it's at, and then go grab some breakfast. So slowly waiting on the pivot, just has to get to about right here, a little bit further. Then I'll turn it off and turn it on later this afternoon, but uh, don't have anything fancy on this one for the phone, so just have to manually sit here and then go turn it off over the pond. Waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And then go get breakfast. Alright, so time to do a new set here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just moving down the line so you can see the last one hopefully there. I'm trying to do the GoPro on the head, but anyways. Do a set here and do some cutouts and go from there.
that's all there is to it. Pretty easy. Well, not crazy easy. But watch yourself. <laughs> Random holes there. I just dug that one. But anyways, so that's my set. Uh, I have to do this every two, three hours, just depending. But basically what we're doing right there is it's a check and dam. So you're just making a dam pretty much, stopping the water, backing it up, and it goes out, goes out the cutouts. So I'm gonna go walk the field here to see how the last one looked and see if this next one kind of timing wise what I think. And go check some other things and be back in about three hours. All right, so I'm gonna try to do some planting uh, with some sorghum sedan. So I'm gonna get out my rubber boots and put on regular shoes and go plant for a while. This is the fun part of irrigation. Usually it's not just straight irrigation. And try planting, then jump to irrigation, then back to planting. It's a whole system. But get that thing ready and let's roll. Time to go irrigate some more. Jump into my boots and into the rubber boots. Go walk the field again. Change it up. Sitting in the tractor is a lot better than digging out cutouts at 95 degrees. I guess someone has to do it. Ah, back in the tractor with air conditioning. The good life. And another set done. So these are hour and a half long sets. So I've got one more hour and a half long set and then I'll do kind of a longer set which will stretch and kind of get a dry spot there. And then a night set and then I'll kind of finish this up tomorrow. But yeah, this, this field's a pain in the butt. Slowly getting it done. So another thing you gotta check out for is when pivots lose their hoses, like this one. You turn it on, they come off every now and then. They're getting old. So you gotta climb up here and put it back on there. Always fun. Good thing I'm afraid of heights up here. So what happens is this barb gets really smooth. So you just have to replace this with the new one. Quick fix there, so. It's good to go. Now I'll go turn the pivot back on and go change some water now. All right, I'm in here at the pivot. So real fast, I'm going to have it go forward real quick just to keep it going. I've got to open up this line. Okay. I'm trying to hold the camera and do all this at the same time. Okay. Open up this line. What this is, is it allows, um, it's a filter here, so the water just goes out here and it kind of cleans the system out. have to make sure to do that. And then we're going to turn on the pump here. And we are going to be putting on an inch and two tenths, or give or take. Okay, close enough. So it's going to go forward for just a little bit, and I'm going to reverse it. Um, the reason I'm doing that, man, just creepy every way we're going to do this. But anyways, I'm um, just wanting it to soak that edge that it's on right now. It takes a little bit for the pump to actually pressure up, so I don't want to skip that spot. So I'll let it sit that way, soak just a little bit, and then I'll turn, turn it the other way. All right, I don't know if this is any better blinds the heck out of me, but at least you can see me and not a ghost. So anyways, uh, that's kind of the life of irrigation for the day. So some runs are just like that, where you're constantly checking things, making changes, 
Uh, during the spring, we got all the weeds. Right now, there's not a lot of weeds, so we don't have to clean that up as much, but just constant changes. Other times, there's a lot of pivots, so you kind of just let the pivots do all the work. Just kind of hit or miss, and depends how busy we are on the farm. But uh, we used to have a dedicated irrigator when we had pretty much all flood. So now we're probably, I don't know, 75 to 85, 80% well, no, we're probably about 75, maybe 60, 75 percent pivots comparative to flood irrigation. Um, right now, we just, we couldn't really make it. I mean, some guys do have all flood irrigation and it works, but it's tough to get across all the acres. So the pivots really help us out. Um, we don't have to hire extra labor, so that's nice as well. You have to pay for the pivots, which is basically the same price as hiring the labor. So... But uh, you just press a button and they work. You don't have to, you know, tell guys what to do and miss spots and everything. However, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that's irrigation and wrap and kind of what we do all during the summer. But uh, have a good one. And we'll be coming up with some more hay videos. Um, just kind of stuff here and there. See what happens. Thanks, guys. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Tell your friends if you enjoy the content. Thanks.